Hello guys, today I bought this X5 original for $25 from Trophy Store, Salvation Navy. And when I turn it on, it turns on, hard drive starts to work, and fan is working, everything is working, but no picture. I tried the cable, everything on this Xbox, and everything is working, the cables are okay. So when I press the eject button, see, start blinking the LED ring, but no pictures. I turn it off. I turn it on. <coughs> and same. So I'm going to take a look inside the console and see what's the wrong with this console. All right. First of all, I remove the covers. And the screws four screws I'm pretty sure it's gonna be four screws and with the proper screwdriver I start to remove the screws All right, four lime screws. Then with a flat screwdriver. we have one hole here with this screw I'm going it's it's never opened this console is never opened so I'm going to remove its virginity and also we have one more hole here so she's not a virgin anymore and then flip it over and just pull out the sides of the top cover with a flat screwdriver And that's it. It's brand new inside. All right, that's it. As you can see, the DVD drive is here. Hard disk drive is here. This is uh, how many gigabytes? 80 gigabytes here. This is number 80 here. As you can see, 80 gigabytes IDE hard disk drive, Western Digital. So, so far, so good. Just in case, I'm going to connect it again to make sure if it's working. Maybe sometimes you open some consoles, and after you open it, they screw, and they're gonna start to work. I turned off. Oh, 
hard disk drive is working, DVD drive is not working. See, it, it's trying to open the drive, but it can't. Okay, I turn it off, I remove the cable, then I have to remove the other parts, like DVD drive, okay, I'm going to remove this part, the top part, so, so a few screws, here, one of them is here. So, I change my screwdriver size and one more here, one more here. Um, anything else? And that's it. I just need just need to remove this cable. And an ID uh, sorry IDE cable. Right. That's it. All set. Just make sure you don't lose the screws. If you remove the cable from here, yeah, that's a hard disk drive cable. It's kind of tricky. And then you can work on it easier. So everything looks okay so far. Maybe I need to do some cleaning up. And I have to check the capacitors. Oh, this one, this one. As you can see, it's kind of bumped. This one, this one, two of them. Visually, I noticed even underneath of this, it's popped. One, two. I'm pretty sure these two. So I'm going to change these two capacitors and then try it. Right, guys, I pressed this capacitor with a screwdriver, and as you can see, some liquids came out. And so I'm going to turn it on. I have to be careful, maybe some smokes come out so let's try it wow yeah these guys has to be changed i don't have any pictures yet Looks okay, everything else. This one, I need to change it. Alright. I turn it off. 
I put back the everything, the DVD drive, IDE cable, and the power cable. That's right. I press the eject button. It's not working. All right. So I need to change those capacitors and then try it again. All right, I removed the cables here, 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 everything. And now uh, it's time to remove the motherboard. Moved. And ta-da. All right. board looks okay so just these capacitors as you can see if I can show you let me zoom in see can you see that see it's popped from the underneath so this one and this one no yeah okay I'm going to change three capacitors here those are uh 3300 microfarad and three six three point volts so i'm going to buy this and change them and even sorry yeah 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 this one has to be changed as well this is popped from the underneath this one and what else this is this looks okay maybe this one as well so we have three capacitors here for sure and this one and this one these are very cheap you can buy it from Amazon and that's it I bought the heatsink paste so as long as the motherboard is out so. alright and this is it's dried already it, it used to be stickers there is some stickers in the market so I'm going to add just a little bit of the paste and that's it I put it back and check it yeah we're good I clean it up the rest And I put back the sink and it sink and this one I tried to remove but I couldn't so I decided just leave it. Also I bought capacitors. The original capacitors uh, voltage is 6.3 volts. So this one is 16 volts. It's okay. Uh, if you don't have to put it lower than 6.3 volts, higher is okay. So I'm going to change these three capacitors first.
Okay. And the last one. As you can see, the top of the capacitor is bumped, popped out. So, and this one is damaged. And this one looks okay, but I'm going to maybe change it. All right. I have to make sure the positive and negative side the this this is this part this here is negative and the other side is positive so make sure you put the right place all right guys finally i installed all the capacitors on the main and the main board and i could uh, revive my old original uh xbox so i'm going to test it it's going to be surprise yes this xbox is modified with a lots of emulators on it and lots of gay xbox original xbox games on it and i'm waiting for the boot menu all right we're good now thank you for watching guys please let me know if you have any questions most of the problem of the x original xbox is changing the capacitors otherwise it maybe sometimes can't read the bios or graphic chipset video chipset or other stuff but most of them you can fix it with the changing the capacitors on the main board and sometimes on the uh, power supply part thank you for watching have a good day